Hello, happy Sunday. I would say December, November 19th. Happy November 19th. So it is day 19 of our November challenge. So excited. Um, excited for you to be here. Excited for what we're creating this month, the month of November. If you're new to this challenge, please go to my YouTube page, Candace Idahan. And that is where you'll find all the details of this challenge and the focus of this challenge, which I will highlight for you right here, give you the cliff notes, is to get the most out of the rest of this year. A lot of you guys throw in the towel at this point and say, mm, we'll just start fresh in 2024. No, not a thing, not what we're doing. We're securing the bag this year because there's still 100% of 2023 left. So we're jumping into it. Hey, Lorraine, we're jumping into it strong. We're focused. We are going to create results by the end of this month, the end of November. November is only 30 days. So we've been doing this for 30 days and today is day 19. So the topic for today is every single day I've been giving out a topic. Like I said, if you want to know more about this challenge or jump in and like, wow, this sounds great. I really want to get more out of this year or I just know that there's more left for me or I just want to secure more, then go to my YouTube page, Candace Idahan, and please subscribe. And you can see all of the videos from each and every day of this challenge there. Go watch them. The titles will speak to you. Click on them, like them, comment, love it for you. Um, so without further ado, today is day 19, begin again. The topic is begin again. Why? Because this is my first time. Oh, awesome, K-Rob. Thank you for joining. Um, it is not a nail-related topic or live. It is for my challenge, um, which, as I've been sharing, just check out my, my lives um, on my YouTube page. But it's really just about finishing this year strong. You don't have to do nails. You don't have to even be in business. It's just about getting the most out of the rest of this year because God gave you a vision and a plan and desires in your heart that a lot of you have fallen asleep on. And the focus is to really get that back because we're not leaving crumbs on the table in 2023. We're securing it completely, cleaning them up. This is going in my pocket or in my bag, but I'm definitely not leaving no crumbs on the table, okay? So that is the focus of this, Re reformulating our minds, getting our minds clearly aligned, getting back to where we need to be because, you know, there's a lot of garbage that ends up coming into your mind throughout the year, whether you it's your agreements and things that you're thinking or something someone says to you, all of that. Some of you are not even doing what you're supposed to be doing. You've deviated from it because of lack of faith or knowledge or not feeling smart enough or bold enough and all the things. That is why we're refocusing in the month of November so that we can jump in come January. 30 days this month, you're going to glide through December because you have the mentality down now. The stinking thinking is gone. You have a new foundation because every single day we're chipping away at the noise that's been in your head that has been preventing you to secure every goal, vision, dream, desire that you want. I keep saying go back and listen to Ascent One on my YouTube page because that live phenomenal if you're even doing this challenge or you're on this live you are a sent one there's no accident there's no coincidence why you're you clicked on and you're on this it's because you are a sent one if you listen to that it means that you're the called out one. you're the set apart one. the reason why you're different the reason why your goals aren't like your families or your brothers or your sisters or why what your mom thought you were going to do with your life is not really what you want to do is because you're a sent one you're the one that's going to change the whole game for your family line and that's why you have the opposition that you have. That's why it's as difficult as it's been. It's not by chance. It's by purpose. Because there's some things that have to be pulled out of you. The most precious stones and precious things have to be extracted. Oil has to be extracted from the earth. Diamonds have to be extracted from caves. Gold has to be extracted from the dirt, from the caves, from the ground. Nothing. Salt has to be extracted. Nothing that is worth value is just laying out there like, hey, come get me. Nothing. Nothing that you can even other gemstones. You have to go deep in caves. Coal. You have to go deep in caves to go get that. It, it has to be extracted because it took time for it to be molded into it. It took time for it to become perfect. It took time for it to become excellent. It took time for it to even be valuable. All of those things, like, it took thousands of years. It's Obviously, it's not going to take us that because we don't have a thousand years to live. But 
It takes time. It doesn't a diamond doesn't become a diamond overnight. Gold, all of that. Finding gold doesn't even is not even overnight. It takes time for these things to be created. The same reason why it takes time for you to thrive and to get where you need to be. But a lot of times we let life shut us down and we're not doing that anymore. That is the purpose and the goal of this challenge. To really get out of that negative space that has not allowed you to get to where you want to be or where you know your life should be. And get back into the position and alignment. I have a, a day from the challenges. Um, play your, something about position. Play your position. Go to my YouTube page. You'll see it. But it's about your positioning. Securing your position. I think it was secure your position. There we go. Thank you, Lord. Secure your position. That is what we're focusing on doing. Securing your position. Getting back to where you're supposed to be. Because a lot of you are out of position. You gave up your spot to somebody else. Because you're not even moving right. People are able to literally like you're in line. And you're like, are you in line? And people come by and ask you like, are you in line, miss? Because um, they're not even sure. Like, are you in line? Oh, yeah, I'm in line. Oh, okay. It doesn't look like. Can you move or can you get closer? Some of you gave up your spot. Even if it's about a, at your job, you should have been the one promoted. You should have been the one that went up for that promotion because of the stinking thinking. You're not in your in the right position. You're not playing your position. So now other people are able to cut you in line. Now Sherry's up for the the promotion. Now Tiffany is up. Now John is up. And here you sitting there mad at yourself, mad, and now you hate the job. It's not the job. It's you. You're out of order. You're not where you're supposed to be. And that is the purpose, excuse me, of this challenge this month. Get you back in position. Get you out of a negative headspace. Get you focused back on what are the real dreams, goals, and desires that you want to get out of your life. What are those things? Because if you know what those things are, then you're going to make sure that you secure them. And that's what we're doing this month. So make sure you go to my YouTube page. Go subscribe. Please go do that now. I'll be on live for a couple more minutes. So go like, go subscribe to the YouTube page and hop right back onto this live. This live will also be uploaded to my YouTube page so that you're able to see it and watch it um, later on. And all of this content is going to stay up there. So it's going to be evergreen. So even if you want to redo this challenge, you're like, mm, I need to like mm -hmm, double back to a couple things. You can do it. I highly, highly encourage you because guess what? I'm hitting 24 running and I'm going with gold in my pocket because I'm securing it now. Okay. So if you think you're about to just wake up in 2024 and like go secure it, you're not. How many years have you done that in the past saying, oh, I'm going to just start fresh new year and nothing happens. Nothing's different. You're still not doing what you want to do. You're still at that job that you hate. You're still not making the money that you want. You still don't have the clients that you need. The list goes on. So you have to do something different. You want different results. You have to do something different. So let's focus on what it is that we want and execute on it. So <clears throat> the topic of today is, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to, okay. The topic of today is um, new beginning, uh, begin again. I'm sorry, something just threw me off. Uh, begin again. So why are we doing, hey, long time, songstress. Hey, Kari. Um, hey, Cape Cod. Um, so the purpose of today begin again is because I know a lot of people, you know, one today is Sunday, we are starting a new week this week. So what we're going to do is begin again. We have a whole nother week. We have new commitments to make. Yes, we're still committed to the one thing we chose on day one, but we still have the opportunity to commit again. Every single day, we have to commit to what we're focusing on. You're not going to build your business or build whatever it is that you want, your desire, your vision, by just haphazardly walking through. No, you have to wake up in the morning and say, you know what? I'm committed to making sure I secure those four more clients that I said I wanted. I'm, today, I'm going to make sure that I'm, you know, I reach out to six people because I said I was going to reach out to them. Whoever it is or whatever your commitment was on day one of this challenge, you have to stick with it now. Again, for those of you that are new, please go to my YouTube page and uh, Candace Idahan, and you can join the November challenge. It's not too late. There's still time to get the most out of this year so that you don't leave any crumbs on the table because we're executing and securing everything that we want and need this year so we can fly in 24. But yes, today is begin again. So the focus is beginning again. Whatever it is that you failed at this week or you felt like you fell short on, we're going to begin again. And remember, the Bible says new mercies are given every single day. And we're going to receive new mercies come tomorrow. 
We had new mercies this morning. I want you to commit again, recommit to finishing this strong. We're more than halfway there. There are more days behind us than there are ahead of us in this challenge. We're closer to 30 than we are to the first. <clears throat> So let's remember today is day 19. We have a lot more time left to secure what we need to. We can start again. Don't let defeat talk to you. Remember I said, stop letting fear talk to you in all caps. Fear cannot talk to you anymore. You have a foundation. Day two was how to overcome fear by making a plan. We have a plan. Yes, you know, things can happen in the plan. You may fall off the bandwagon. You may have days where it's too hard, whatever. But the fact is, the next day you get up and you commit again. You commit to whatever your goal. If your goal was to go to the gym, you get up the next day, I'm going to go to the gym. Or I'm going to walk to work. Or I'm going to walk this stop. Whatever it is, you commit again. Make the plan again. For your tomorrow, for your today, for your rest of the day. There's still time left in today. Don't say that, oh, it's over. It's already 6 o'clock. What does that mean? Because guess what? You would have went to go lay in your bed and watch Netflix for four hours. Them them four hours, you could have accomplished something. So again, remember, one of the other days was your focus. Shift your focus. Make sure that all that's in front of you is your goals. We only have 30 days, friends. All we need to do is commit for the 30 days. And right now we have less than 30 days, right? Because today's day 19. We have 11 days left. We can do it. So today's topic, day 19, begin again. Again, if you want to see the other topics from the other days to help you get unstuck for the rest of this year so you can finish this year proud, not finishing this year trying to throw rollover problems onto 24. We're not throwing no rollover problems to 24. Mm -mm. We're making sure that we finish this year with good foundation in our minds, with good strategy, with good planning, so that in 2024, we're like, check please, where, where, where's it at? I did the work. I can open my store. I did the work. I can get, I know how I'm getting more clients. I did the work. I see the more clients. I did the work. My bank account has increased. I did the work. Now my bosses are trying to pull me up for promotion. I'm showing up differently in my life. So people are taking notice. My words have weight. That was another day, another topic for another day. Because now when I say things, people actually know that I'm going to back it up. Because a few months ago, my words had no value. I would say something and people would be like, that's the Charlene talking again, child. You know she ain't doing it. Now people are like, oh, oh, you actually did it? Yeah, I actually did it. Because now I'm about that life. Now I'm, I'm not playing small anymore. I'm not letting life pass me by. I'm not letting life toss things my way and I have to take it. Again, that was another topic on another day. Some of you let life throw things your way and, and you have to accept it. Because you don't have any other options because you're not putting yourself in position for the best, for what you like. And you can't be mad at anyone but yourself because you're not showing up for your life. The people that you watch and you scroll the ground one every day, they're showing up for their life. Are you showing up for your life? But today, day 19, you get to begin again. You get to show up again. You get to have those conversations that you should have had last week. You get to try it again. Tomorrow's Monday. I have a conversation I need to have tomorrow. And I'm preparing it because what, what do we do to overcome fear? We make a plan. I'm making, if you got to write a whole script out to line for line about what you need to say to whoever you need to say, write the script. There's nothing, there's no, nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with the strategy that works for you. Because guess what? Everybody else is using a strategy against you. So you be a fool to go walk to a fight. Then they plan it all out already. Create your strategy, create your plan. And that's how you're going to overcome. That's how you're going to move to the next stage. Nobody builds a house without a blueprint. So how are you trying to build the life that you want and you have no plan? Remember, vision. I did a, a topic a day was on vision. People without vision will perish. If you don't have a plan, you see the, the app we're on. Mark Zuckerberg said he wanted to create something that, that would bring the world to bring the world together. What did he create? Facebook. Now he's acquired other companies that do the same vision that he had from the beginning. You think it's by happenstance that he, he's a billionaire? He ha Nobody that's a billionaire is by happenstance. Even if you're an heiress to the throne, somebody before you had the vision. That's why you have access to the funds because they gave you access to a vision. 
So that's what we're creating here. Don't think that it's small. Don't think that, oh, well, it's just, no, this is just how everyone who is successful lives their life by planning it out, by doing things every single day to become and reach their goal target. You don't just wake up and then become, you don't wake up and then have money. You don't wake up and then have a company that's, you don't do that. You plan to get there. People who don't plan, plan to fail. And if you haven't been planning, then chances are you, 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 not, you haven't been succeeding in life. You've also just been getting things that have been passed and tossed your way. Because you're not actively pursuing what you want. So today is begin again. Today is day 19 of our challenge. Like I said, if you want to rewatch and re-listen to any of the challenges, I mean, excuse me, any of the days, because the topics have been so amazing, um, literally fresh manna, because God gives them to me every single day. Go to my YouTube page, Candice Idahan, and subscribe first. Y'all can go and subscribe and come right back because I'll be here for a second. This will also be there. So if you caught it midway, please go back and watch in like 20 minutes. It'll be uploaded on my YouTube page. This challenge is you, even if you're starting now, you can still start at day one and go through it. The goal is to secure this year, to finish this year strong. It doesn't matter how it started. It matters how you finish it so that your new start in 24 is actually a start with focus so you can create success for your life. We're not taking the life that's been handed to us anymore. We've done that for how many, y'all can add the tax on how many years it's been. We're, we're choosing the life we want. We're creating the life we want. Okay, so let's focus. I am excited to see what you guys create at the end of November or on the other side of November 30th. It is going to be amazing. I see what's happening in my life and I'm super duper excited. So you guys jump on it. This will be on my YouTube page in like 20 minutes. Go back to the other videos. Go back to Ascent One because if you are on this challenge, if it is tugging at your heart, even listening to me, then you are Ascent One. You are the one in your family, in your bloodline, in your lineage who is supposed to be the different one. You're not dealing with what you're dealing with by accident. You're dealing with it because you are Ascent One. You are chosen. You are special. You're a designer's original. There's yours one of one. There's a reason why everyone else thinks one way and you think a different way because you're a set one and your job is to break through in certain realms that no one else can do. So this is going to pull that out of you. Get on fire for your life because there's more for you on the other side of your commitment. Guys, go to my YouTube page, watch the other videos, subscribe, DM me if you have any questions. If you want to get the emails that I'm going to send out right after uh, this live, um, and I send them out daily with each video, subscribe, click the link in my Instagram bio if you're watching this on Instagram, and uh, join my newsletter email list. You'll get an email once a day with just encouragement. So thank you guys for joining. I cannot wait to see what you create on the other side of November 30th, because... Success is by the choosing. I can't wait to see you guys soon. Talk to you tomorrow. Have a good night.